gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, Ascenders, and welcome to another episode of The Ascent. I'm Cobalt Thorium. In this episode, I think we're unfortunately going to have to try to find our way back to the main mission there, uh, Data Miner, which very recently totally kicked our butts. It was not good. All right. So I'm in bad shape here. I don't feel like I'm competent enough to do it. Um, one thing we could do here is we could try to do different different stuff. Like um, maybe try the Razor Dronettes. Maybe we'll install that guy. It might be a good idea to go in and um, upgrade some of our stuff in here. Let's see. Do we want to do the Reju field? We can test it. Alright. Um, but now I think we want to find a gunsmith. Um, I think the hammer is the gunsmith. How do I get over to the gunsmith? I'm lost. <laughs> How do I get over to the gunsmith? Why is this so difficult? This map is so useless. Look at this. What does that mean? What the hell is all this shit? this way before. We were trying to head on down to the gun dealer. And that took us down a level. Maybe we have to go down a level and over to get to the gunsmith. It might actually make sense to look at the armor too and see if they have any better armor. Although our armor is pretty slick. All right, now the question is, uh, what is going to, what are we going to use against those mobs of enemies? I feel like the Astro Smash Smasher is just going to smash us. We could put stuff into the Room Sweeper or into the Strike Breaker. That's a pretty big increase in power. And the minigun is really like our fallback weapon because it's got such a huge capacity. Hmm. 
Against some enemies, the room sweeper just is not practical. I guess it's gonna be the strike breaker. That only costs one, huh? All right. Let's deck it out. It's going to be our most elite gun. Oh, we're out of funds. I probably should have put some into the room sweeper, but... Oh, we can. Oh, I still have plenty left. Missing components. Hmm. I guess I don't know how the system works. How does this system work? I do not understand at all. Well, our room sweeper is looking pretty slick now. Let's get it up over 400, and then let's go. I do, I do not understand what just happened. All right, let's head over to the armor. Like, did that just drain all of our money? No, it's not. I don't... Oh! Oh, okay, so these are like advanced components and these are like simple, basic ones. Oh, so those are the things that we've been picking out. Okay. Alright, how do I get down there? Alright, here's some stairs. So they've got new headgear. They have the D30 uh, spectral goggles. Turn fear to what we have right now. Canary, medium head protection, anti rad braided outer coating, and multi spectral active sensors combined in an excellent geoengineering supervisor package. Track precious ore. And protect your brain from harmful irradiation at the same time. And they also have the Feud Helmet. Black Market. Advanced Head Protection. The full headpiece for the Cyber Warrior Kit. Stunning to look at. And it makes it clear that you mean business. Thanks to very light material. It allows for great maneuverability despite its large size. Alright, that's it for new um, headgear, and it doesn't appear that any of it is going to replace our current stuff. Like, we must have gotten really good stuff at the very beginning. So then we have the D30... Actually, I didn't, I didn't look at what these actually looked like, did I? So here's the spectral goggles. Can't really see it. See, I can't spin the character. And the feud helmet. It's kind of cool looking. Upper body. Oh, that looks nice. Very classy. I don't like how I look like some kind of industrial worker. I want to be like classy. <laughs> Alright, so this is the D30 Sensehancer. Sensehancer. Ah, body coat. Whisper Cybernetics. Medium torso protection. A garment designed for the net jockey fashionistas out there. The slim fit, choice fabric, and slick appearance effectively hides the multiple fail safes protecting you against, unwan against unwarranted intrusion. And we have the feud armor. Cool. Black market. Medium torso protection. In the main piece, uh, the main piece in the, f the feud line. It offers full upper body protection without bogging you down. 
If you want a true Cyber Warrior experience, this is for you. Let's see if there's another one further down. We got the PF30 SCC7 plate carrier. Now, oh. ooh, what's up with the arm? That's kind of gross. Is my arm always that way? All right, whatever. Cybersec Mega Medium Torso Protection. The Cybersec 7 range comes with combined protection qual qualities at only a slightly higher cost. The sleeveless plate carrier keeps you agile while the ceramic and duraskin lay or duracin layers keep you alive. I assume that that's a typo and that's duraskin, but I don't know. And that's it for new upper body things. Now we got some lower body. We have Hellfire leg pants. Or Hellfire leg pads. Canary. Medium leg protection. Hellfire leg pads provide Canary's patented cool pad tech with a hardened shell to ensure lower body against... Uh, lower body protection against flames and errant power drills alike. And that's it for new pants. So that is it. Wow, that looks kind of nice, actually, with the, with the red top. Look at that. What I really want is, like, the slick trousers. But whatever. It's not as practical. And we do want to win. So, now one thing I'm curious about is that there's an upgrade process for guns. But I don't know if there's for armor. I feel like there probably should be. Let's check this. Armor Cyber Grafter. Gunsmith Bounty Stylist. Maybe there isn't one. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. Uh, this way. For uh, 700 meters. It's probably this way. Yeah. All right, we'll try out this very basic pistol. I think it's the one they started with. And then I suppose we'll switch on over to our super duper fancy ultra powerful new guns. Now, do we want to poke our heads back into the prison break area to see if they respond? Because if the mech came back, that would be a really great thing to milk for experience, but it doesn't look like it.
Looks like all the enemies are still dead. there. So the last time we did this mission, the first go through, we uh, the first go through, we got killed pretty quickly, I think. The second go through, we got down to like 17 seconds remaining in the timer. And the, the other two that I went did not go so well. We had like a minute left. That's great. This gun is pretty brutally ineffective. Let's try just as a comparison. Let's go back to the heat. So I do like the heat. I think that that's a pretty cool gun. Well, let's try out our room sweeper with our strike breaker behind it. Oh, I actually kind of expected it to deal more, to deal with that guy faster. Ah, what the hell? should have put all that money into that hand cannon because it seems pretty uh it seems pretty badass actually and I suppose that the the trick is that you have to be way more accurate with it like very low magazine capacity. I mean, I think it's a revolver. I think it has a slow rate of um, reload as well. Like she actually pops in one shell at a time, almost like a shotgun. And by that, I mean round, not shell. <laughs> So do we heal up when we go into the elevator? I saw a bunch of health pluses. I wish there was a run button. Just to get out of these areas of no activity. Move it along a little bit, you know?
All right, let's see if this investment was worth everything. So it's all reset, huh? That kind of sucks. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't see a real change. Let's try this guy. Yeah, it seems more powerful. Oh, geez, I just jumped. It looks like I actually avoided the damage. I'm not doing so well here. Being careless. buy ourselves a little bit of a snack here. Snacky, snacky. Cool. And these things have long range. Wish you could hack them. Where is this thing leading me? Wait, what? Where is this leading me?
Oh, jeez. Whoa, he's right. good again and I think I was actually in that blast radius so that was my fault That's up. Jeez. Oh, you know what I did last time? Is I attacked those guys from the other side. That would be the right way to do this. is not looking so hot. You'd think after two level ups, a whole bunch of weapons upgrades, spending a bunch of experience points, we would be a little bit better suited to doing this. But then again, I mean, last time through, we spent most of this um, at like zero health, so... I suppose it's not the... How did I do this last time? I think I did it from over there. Well, I'm getting pretty close to zero health again. So what else is new?
Thank goodness. What are you trying to... Where are you put, taking me? around here and just see if I can collect any more healthy things because pretty soon it's going to autosave. I'm not even going to bother going down there. near me. Um, let's just take a look and see if there are any crates over here or anything. Nope. Alright, back into the gauntlet again. go. Wish me luck. <laughs> I hate that we have to watch this intro over again. Hold on. Is this cheaper? What does this give us? Okay, so that's the grenade thing, is it? I should actually check this grenade and see what it does. Those should have all hit. He was not crouched. My cursor was right on top of him, too. Why did that hit me? Oh, come on, what is going on here? What the hell? I'm not happy with how this is going. And I mean that from like a technical standpoint. It's like a bunch of these shots should have been... Sh these shots should be landing. A lot of them aren't. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Reload. Jesus. I'm not doing too well here. Let's do this health field. Well, this health field is working out very well. Hey, we didn't get any of the like super big ba bad guys this time. Three, come on, time. Time should not be going slower. do that here let's uh hmm, let's poke around this area a little bit before we do that oh we can't get the thing it's lame all right so the wings are off limits to us It's a dead end. Cool robot. How, wait, what do we do? <laughs> is it here? Oh, I guess it is. is gonna be crazy large, buddy. Even with compression, your imp doesn't have enough bandwidth for a remote transfer. I'll set up access to the network operations center while the package is being compiled. While we appreciate the assistance, Knobhead, you should be aware that we are monitoring your every action. Don't get any ideas. Far be it for me to enact on any ideas or there's an foreign involved. Just help it out, my pal, as promised. Good. Alright, where am I going? Transfer data from the knock. Just try this one more time. Damn it. So are we going all the way back to knock? Eight meters. Oh, that was weird. Well, we did it. It was significantly easier. I think that the health field was really what did it. It changed everything. Um, so, I'm glad that we now know how that works and how beneficial it is. Should make a lot of things easier. Provided I can kind of stay in one place. I suppose if against like the spider bots it would have been a lot less effective. Spider bots, you know, they kind of come after you and they kind of, they're almost like melee characters, right? Except that they come in and they explode rather than stabbing you. Oh, what's with that flashing? Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Where is this thing leading me? Twenty meters. Oh, here. Interfacing with cluster NFC. Hang on, Y 
cut through the ice so that your Y Corp friends can connect to the NOC. There, done. We have access. Downloading the package now. They're not my friends. I fully intend to kill them. Data miner, mission complete. Give me some experience. Let's get to level 18, guy. No? Maybe they already gave me the experience. The operations data has significant gaps, but our AGI was able to cross-reference it with the information we already had, and the findings are... interesting. Our portal want to discuss them before deciding how to proceed. In the meantime, you pass the test. We reluctantly welcome you to our property appropriation division. Be aware that you'll be operating in a whole different league going forward. This is a high-risk, high-reward profession, and we expect you to perform at the highest possible standard at all times. We have updated your imp with your new rating as a CGT operative. Enjoy the insurance policy, and expect to hear from us again soon. <laughs> Incoming SSM request from Noghead. Good. I set up this channel to bypass the SAGI bonds so that snotty a foreign can't listen in. See, I had a pilfering algorithm piggybacking on the transfer so that I could clone the data. Just a little something I've been working on for a while now. Thing is, she ain't telling you half of it. There's clues in there as to why the Ascent Group went under. Looks like they were pouring you creds into some secret mega project enough to buy a fucking planet. A lot of key personnel were being reassigned to that same project, and they also paid Onyx Void plenty of you creds for who knows what. Why the hell would Ascent Group do that? What were they working on, and why is Y Corp so interested? AG, we're also planning a hostile takeover of Malor's Gel, but something went seriously wrong somewhere, and the Ascent Group AGI shut down. The whole court went belly up, and here we are. Figured you should know, seeing as it's your ass on the line. Talk soon. <laughs> I bet there's a sapien developed AGI coming up, and it's gonna be like way better. Hey, okay, where am I going? No idea. Map submissions, foreign code. I guess this doesn't really have a location yet, does it? Well, we'll get out of here, and then I think we'll wrap up the episode. Because it is getting pretty long. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Map submissions. Is there something else I can use to get me out of here? Nope. Okay, I gotta learn how to read this stupid map. Oh, wait. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's pretty simple, actually. Let's go. Well, I guess that that will be the end of the episode. I don't really know what to do from here. Both the quests that we have um, are in sort of like a waiting process. So, hmm, not quite sure. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe even subscribe. New episodes every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. My name is Cobalt Thorium. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Incoming high priority message from Kira. Oh, we got, we got a message. I mean, operative. We studied the operations history data you sent, and it hints at some sort of ongoing interstellar transportation arrangement between the Ascent Group and Onyx Void. We want to understand the details of that arrangement. Who or what were OV bringing onto Velez on the Ascent Group's behalf? We know that Ovi is very protective of all shipment information. It is being kept in a single protected desync somewhere. Your next assignment is to locate that desync and extract the info we want. Should be straightforward enough, even for a sapien such as yourself. As Y Corp can't afford to officially antagonize Onyx Void at this time, you'll be operating on your own again. Kira out. Suggest querying the Onyx Void subnet at their hangout at the node. Destination set.
Okay, well there you go. That is what the next mission will be because we don't have any optional side quests. So, uh, unless that guy comes back about his mold or whatever. Anyway, uh, I'll wrap up the episode now because I already did my outro. So, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.